Philippians 4 and 19 declares, God will supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. We must never limit God. Don't limit God. life for all of us can be a pilgrimage. It can be a very difficult journey full of disappointment and despair. Oh yes, we all can be full of disappointment, discouragement, and great despair. And often we find ourselves hanging on by a thread with little or no hope in sight because of brokenness because of the many burdens and the battles that we face from day to day. Because of our right now, those difficult circumstances, those unusual situations that we face can cause us to believe we that will we will forever remain stuck. We will forever remain trapped and we won't proceed or progress forward into our greater. But I'm here to encourage someone on today that God is a God of great progression. God is in the business of progressing us forward into our greater. It doesn't matter what it looks like. God is a God of more than enough. Often we're content and complacent. We're comfortable with where we are because our minds haven't been transformed to believe that we're more than conquerors that we are the head and not the tail, that we're above and not beneath, that we are capable and we're confident in believing that God has purposed us to do great things. God says, don't limit him. Don't limit the process. Yes, we're faced with setbacks. We're faced with difficulties, challenges, many obstacles, but Stuck doesn't mean we have to settle. We've all been stuck in many difficult places in our lives. I'm a witness. I've had moments where I felt stuck, like I couldn't proceed forward because of life issues and the many challenges that I face. But I'm here to encourage someone on today to trust God and don't limit the power of God. Because God is the God of more than enough. God is a God of great progression. And each and every day, no matter what we're faced with, if we trust and believe God, if we doubt not the word and continue to affirm that we are confident, we're capable, we meet the requirements, we can proceed at anything that God has called you and I to do. But first, our minds must be transformed into believing that we serve a God of progression. We serve a God that gives us more than enough. We serve a God that supplies all of our needs. If you just sit and think back into some moments where you didn't know exactly how you were going to pay your bills, how were you going to move forward? How were you going to progress into your next level? God supply all of your needs. And yes, at times it can be challenging because often we believe in our right now versus believing that sooner than later, everything will turn. It will work in our favor if we remain faithful to trusting God and believing that God will supply. God will provide, God will deliver, God will heal. God will be anything that you need him to be. But we must never limit God and the power that God works in and through us. I'm here to encourage someone on today not to remain stuck, not to, not to settle for what you think is the end all be all. 
because God is a God of progression and God is a God of more than enough. I just want to encourage you to trust God and lean not unto your temporal, your right now. Those circumstances that are beyond your control, the situation that seems to defeat you every single day. But I just want to encourage you to trust God, to trust God for he will, he shall direct your path. Don't place a limit onto the power of God because even though you feel stuck, God is working behind the scenes. And I can affirm to you because I've watched God take me from a place of feeling stuck unto a place that I move from one step to the next and I begin to progress into my greater, into my purpose, into all that God has called me to do and he's called me to be. I just wanna encourage you to trust God. Don't limit God. Don't limit the power of God because it's all working for your good. God will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Don't place limits on God's power or the power that works in and through you because God is a God of progression and God is a God of strength, of joy, of great victory. You are more than a conqueror. You must only believe and transform your mind that being stuck, being trapped is just a mere snare, a lie from the pits of hell. But God is a God that loves you so much that even though you feel content and complacent, you feel comfortable because your mind hasn't been, been transformed into believing that there is greater. I'm here to encourage you that God is a God of more than enough. And God declared in his word in Jeremiah 29 and 11, that his plans for you are to prosper you, to give you hope and a great future. I just want to encourage you, never limit God. Continue to trust him and move forward into your greater. I love you all so very much. I am Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.